And welcome to Football Weekly, the digital edition. Ashley Adamson alongside Rick Neuheisel and Curtis Conway. Guys, it's good to be here with you. Yes. Glad we got Mike Yam Get him out of here. Out. <laughs> him first the day and my boy's not here. Wally Pip. I'm not complaining. Wally Pip. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> He's going to rue the day. He let someone else take his spot. All right. Week six kicks off Thursday night under the lights in Eugene. Everybody remembers what happened last year between Arizona and Oregon. Curtis, we'll start with you because I'm trying to obviously work my way into your good graces because I'm not your boy. You already have, you already have that. <laughs> obviously a lot different than last year. No Kadeem Carey. It's in Eugene. Can the Ducks play the revenge card? How do you see this one playing out? I think it's going to be tough. I mean, when you look at Arizona and what they're doing so far defensively, it's a little scary. You know, you're talking about one of the best offenses in college football, especially when you're talking about the run. And if you go back to last week against Cal, the, the Cal game, they only had 13 points going into that fourth quarter. It's unheard of to score 36 points in the fourth quarter. Can't imagine to see what Oregon's going to do. I, I think Arizona will play well in this game. I don't think the stage will be too big for their quarterback, Ani Solomon. He's, uh, to me, one of the most impressive things about him is his ability to kind of just withstand the, the rich rod fearer, if you will. He gets after his quarterbacks. We've seen that time and time again, but he gets great results. And Ani Solomon has found a way to be very productive very early in his career. He has a terrific cast of characters outside. The receivers are, are really, really talented, at least as talented as the Washington yes. State uh, receivers. Mm -hmm. And we saw Washington State put 31 points up against uh, Oregon. So I believe that this is going to be one of those seesaw affairs. Whichever team finds a way to play defense is going to have the upper hand. So number one thing on Thursday night defense? Yes. Number one thing on every night in the Pac-12. Because <laughs> we've got so many good quarterbacks in this league, you better find a way to corral them. All right. Two of the three unbeatens playing Thursday night, 7.30 kick at Autzen Stadium. Be sure to follow us on at Pac-12 Networks on Twitter and check us out on Facebook. Thanks for watching Football Weekly, the digital edition. See you, Yam.